Overnight in Gaza, Israeli forces carried out multiple drone attacks in several areas, resulting in casualties and injuries. Wafon News Agency reports one person killed and several injured in Azid Zawida, Z-Town, and Rafa's Kaf al mashru Additional airstrikes in Nuziret refugee camp and east of Khan Yunus caused further casualties and damage, including at the Abu Oriban school shelter, where at least 17 people were killed and 80 injured. Israel's recent al Mawasi camp was prolonged and involved missiles, drones, and quadcopters, according to three Palestinian human rights groups. The groups detailed the assault, beginning with airstrikes near al Shulbaji family's residence, followed by attacks on nearby tents. Subsequent drone actions targeted responding civil defense personnel, resulting in the deaths of two and injuries to eight others, three critically. Israel's military chief, Herzi Halavi, defended the al Nawasi operation, citing targeting of two Hamas officials. He attributed civilian casualties to Hamas, emphasizing no harm to Israeli captives. Meanwhile, the three Palestinian human rights groups have criticized international inaction, holding it responsible for what they termed deliberate massacres by Israel in Gaza. They condemned ongoing attacks, including recent incidents in al Mawasi and Shati refugee camp, urging action against what they called Israel's genocidal acts. Amidst the turmoil, Palestine bid farewell to its Olympic delegation heading to Paris. Despite absent athletes due to Gaza fatalities, Palestine's participation aims to spotlight Palestinian plight. Officials highlighted the delegation's symbolic role amidst current challenges, emphasizing the athletes' representation of Palestinian resilience and struggle.